Chapter number three, here we look into PPPoE implementation and configuration. Let's look into what is a PPPoE overview. So what exactly is a PPPoE? PPPoE or PPP over Ethernet is a link layer protocol that encapsulates PPP into Ethernet frame. So this is the keyword here, over Ethernet. So PPPoE enable multiple hosts on the Ethernet to connect to a broadband remote access or what we call BRAS. PPPoE integrates the advantages of Ethernet and PPP. It has a flexible networking advantage of Ethernet and can use PPP to implement authentication and accounting. So as you can see here, this is where we have a PPPoE frame and this is where you have the PPPoE packet. Uh, as you can see that I have the source MAC, destination MAC, this is a layer 2 and we have the Ethernet type and frame check sequence. This is the part that the PPP is inside the Ethernet. So what is the use case for PPPoE you will ask here? Uh, as uh, mentioned on the previous slide, if you want to connect to the internet, especially you want to do a dial-up, then you are going to use the PPPoE. But this is not a serial link. As you can see that these are PC, and PC don't use serial link. They are connecting to a switch. So these are ethernet, and they are using 802.3 standard. So how you can use Ethernet and yet you still want to use the BRAS, okay? Then we have to use PPPoE. So PPPoE provide point-to-point -point connection on an Ethernet. A PPPoE client and PPPoE server established. So in here, if let's say you are using a window, you notice that in the control panel network, you can create a dialog. And when you create a dialog, basically you are creating a PPPoE client. So this client is going to establish this uh, PPPoE connection. So a PPP session encapsulate PPP data packet and provide access service for hosts on the Ethernet, implement user control and accounting. Now this is important because PPP have the authentication. So once you connect to the PPPoE, I need to verify if you are the correct user or not. So if you are the correct user and you manage to dial in, then I'm going to start the accounting. This is where the service provider is going to charge you for the amount of data is being used, okay? So PPPoE is widely used on enterprise and carrier network. So PPPoE is usually used by home user and enterprise to do a dial-up to the internet. Currently, if some of you are using the ADSL or XDXL, you are going to use a PPPoE. Even some of you who are using the fiber, uh, most likely you also will be using PPPoE. Then we look into PPoE session establishment. PPPoE session established involve three stages, which is include the discovery stage, session stage, and termination stage. So here we have the stage number one, PPPoE discovery. In this stage, a PPPoE virtual link is created for the user. This is where the client is connecting to the server. Stage number two is the PPPoE session. Once the server offer the client and the PPP is established, then the session will be established. In this stage, PPP is negotiated, which is include the link control protocol and the network control protocol. This is the PPP negotiation that we learned previously. And lastly, if let's say the client want to terminate, then there will be a PPPoE disconnection. This is a stage where the user go offline and the client server then terminate the connection. So primarily there are three stages in the PPPoE session establishment. So let's look into the detail on the three stages. First, we look into PPPoE packet. A PPPoE session is established by exchange different PPPoE packet. The PPPoE packet structure are as follow. Now you can see here we have the destination MAC, source MAC, Ethernet type, and uh, we have the PPPoE header. Now this is the important part. Then we have the PPP packet and the frame tag sequence. Inside the PPPoE, which is six byte, you can see that out of this, we have four bit is a version, the version of PPoE, the type, the code, 
the session ID and the length. Now I want you to concentrate on the code. Now this code is important because this is where the PPPoE session negotiation uh, take place. All this information is stated over here. If the code is 0x09, then we call that as PADI or stand for PPPoE Active Discovery Initialization Packet. Hence, we have a PADI initialization. Then if the code is uh, 0x07, this part here, then it is a PADO. PADO is an offer. Then we have the 0x19. This is a PADR. DR stands for PPPoE Active Discovery Request. Then we have the 0x65, which is PADS, which is a session confirmation packet. For these three, this part over, this is where the client is negotiating with the server. And this is where the server confirm and uh, the session is ongoing. And finally, 0xA7 is where the client uh, wish to terminate the session. So altogether, I want you to remember uh, this name here, PADI, PADO, PADR, PADS, and PADT. Okay, so let's look into the detail now. Now first we look into the stage where they are going to do the discovery. PPPoE discover involve four steps. First step is that the client send a request. So this is where uh, first step is. The client is going to do a dial up to the server. It go into the internet, going through the modem, and it's actually sent to the tree server. So the server then is going to do a response, okay? So the server respond to the client. So PPPoE server C do not respond. So this is non-responsive. So we have uh, server A and server B responded to client, okay? So we have uh, pedal A and pedal B. Remember that this is the uh, offer. Just now PD is initialization. Then on step number three, PPPoE is going to choose the first received server and respond to it. So the PPPoE client send this information to A and uh, A upon receive it is going to do a response. So this is the PADR which is a request and PADS which is the session confirmation. So the server assigned a session ID to the client to establish a session. So this is a discovery stage. <laughs> then we go into the session stage. In the PPPoE session stage, PPP negotiation take place, which include the link control protocol, authentication, and NCP. So this is the part that we learn using the PPP negotiation. So hence we have a PPPoE. Lastly, we have the PPPoE session termination stage. If the PPPoE client want to terminate the session, which means that you are going to disconnect, it sends a PADT, which is the termination packet, to the server. Similarly, if the PPPoE server want to terminate the session, it sends a PADT uh, packet to the client. All right, so that will be the complete uh, PPPoE session termination.